Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Mint Pie. Uh -huh. I'm finally in front of a camera. Finally. Finally. I've been dreading this moment so much because it's just weird. It's like sitting in front of the lens and just talking at it and it's just staring back at me into my soul. But anyway. Um, yeah, if you're new, hi, even if you're not new, actually, you know what, I'm just going to do a collective one for everyone, hi everyone. If you don't know what my channel's about, it's basically going to be a lot of sneaker talk. Um, I am a sneakerhead and this is why I wanted to use this platform, to talk about trainers, well, we call it crep in London, but obviously I need to put sneakers, you know, here and there just so I get a bigger audience, not everyone knows what crepe is. Some people might think I'm doing a cooking channel, some people might think I'm just silly and just messed out the E at the end of crepe, but yeah. Sneakers, trainers, crepe, listen, it's all the same thing. We're here to just spread love and joy and peace. Today, I've wanted to talk about this for a while. I wanted to wait till I got a mic and I wanted to do up lights and studio and ke ke ke, yeah, YouTube life. Mm -mm. We're not there yet. <laughs> um, we're not going to be there anytime soon right now. So let's deal with what we have. Um, I don't want to hold back content for too long just because I'm waiting on equipment and stuff. I'm just going to make it the best that I possibly can and put it out there for you guys to enjoy. I'm going to be talking about the collaboration in between Nike and Fortnite called the Sneaker Royale. It's not real. Okay. I kind of, I guess it was a clickbait. I think this is my first clickbait. I feel a bit bad, but I don't. Um, I wanted to speak to you guys about the Sneaker Royale, which is actually a collaboration that I made up. Because I'm a creative already, I do graphic design and photography, I decided to use my skills to create something based around Fortnite is a game that has been around for this, I think years in fact, I really need to search that properly, but years. But the Battle Royale within the game, there's two segments of the game. So there's Battle Royale and then there's um, Save the World. So Save the World had been about for time, but Battle Royale recently came out just this last year. I think it came out September 2017. I can double check that, but that's what I believe. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. It's a game that is um, based in like a utopia earth or world or utopia land should I say. The aim of the game is to drop down onto the map wherever you want to go. So you start off on a party bus. The party bus goes throughout the whole map then you have to drop down, have to collect materials, guns, um, just weapons in general. Um, medicine like so med kits and bandages and slurp juice and shields and all of those fantastic stuff I can't really explain the game fully because I'm not really here to be promoting Fortnite I mean if you want to sponsor me that's fine but I'm not here for that but you get the gist anyway you've got to collect those things you've got to fight everyone else and be the last one standing to get the victory royale and then it, you know it just flashes up on the screen you just got to get your aim right shoot people kill people Okay, it sounds very aggressive, but it's not. It's like a, like an animated, like an animated, and wait for it, like an animated Call of Duty and GTA combined, <laughs> kind of. In regards to me wanting to merge Fortnite and Nike, I just thought about Nike's target audience and a gap that can be filled. There was obviously a gap. There's a gap in the market with, I think, every brand probably. Most likely, I don't see what, how they couldn't be. But there's a gap in the market with probably every existing brand. So when considering what the gap in the market would be for Nike, I did realize that they actually don't really cater to gamers. Now, a lot of you might say, well, oh, it's Nike, it's a sports brand, why do they need to cater to gamers? Well, with brands evolving over the years, like it's something that would, you know, be, considered in order to move a brand forward and to see the future of a brand. Nike have done collaborations with so many different people like they've done 
collaboration with Skepta, musician. They've done a collaboration with Michael Jordan, obviously basketball player. They've done a collaboration with Back to the Future, the film, the old film. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but obviously they brought the original trainers. So these are self-lacing trainers. They're just automatic. You put your foot in, you press a button, ooh, it laces up or whatever. Not like physically laced, by the way. I mean, like the laces are already kind of like elastic. So it just tightens your foot, basically. It just makes it snug. Um, Back to the Future is a film where they actually incorporated that, that the shoes could lace themselves up. When that created these Back to the Future trainers, I don't think anyone was really trying to buy that, like, because it was already selling for hundreds. But I think you could only do raffles too, so you couldn't get it unless you signed up online and then your name is picked up random. But the original, like, the original trainer that was made in the beginning, the beginning, the beginning of time <laughs> was being sold um, for, I think, was a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand for that one trainer. And that's in relation to the film. So you can only imagine that people that are massive fans of that film are really trying to get that that trainer. They're filling the gaps as they go along. They know what they're doing. Just to see if it's already been a thing or if anyone's actually made something like that. I did see that games are starting to collab with a couple brands like Google Maps and Mario actually collabed. I remember seeing it on my phone, I just thought nothing of it. So you could make your car on Google Maps, like you know when your navigation has got the, the arrow normally, you could make that Mario and he's in a little car driving. Fortnite have collabed before and it's been really good. Like they've collaborated with Marvel and it was for season four. I was playing at this time, yeah, sponsor me Fortnite, but I was playing and it was for season four and they collaborated with Marvel because season four was based on superheroes and villains. So it was really sick that you could find the Thanos the gauntlet. I don't know why I did that, like say I'm holding it. The Thanos gauntlet will literally is it was available anywhere it could be found anywhere it was only one available but you can find it anywhere on the map as soon as you found that you are thanos yeah you are destroying everyone you're killing everybody in the line everyone's going to die in the line because you are thanos it was such a sick concept because yo like your health was like double your shield was double like what was but everything that protected you basically was double and you um your laser like you know um the the, the 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 stones i don't want marvel fans to come for me but you know the, the rock stones mind stone yeah they're stones they're stones yeah i was right but the stones like um act as a laser too so you know you could um you could point your laser at people and just shoot everybody's going to die tonight all of that you can jump up in the sky and then dug back down and you can punch people it was just so it was so sick honestly it was a very good collaboration and um it just makes me think that you know fortnite collabs night collabs you know let's let's make it one yeah 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 that fortnite i give you that but <laughs> that was a very very good idea very good idea very good idea and there was also a collaboration with puma and sonic so puma trainers if you don't know they're obviously you know they're for athletes that's what they're originally made for athletes and footballers um yeah that's what you really need to know about puma's history but it was very smart that they were using Sonic because Sonic is, you know, the fastest character, I guess, like in animation and games. So they use it like, oh, look what Sonic's wearing on his feet. He's wearing Pumas. And then they made a trainer that was dedicated to Sonic. It was a really, really good advert. It was very entertaining and it was smart. So I just thought, imagine if Nike actually came out with the collaboration with Fortnite, everyone would go crazy. So here are all the final ideas that I created in order to bring this collaboration to life. Idea one is going to be a magazine. 
this magazine can be found in stores it can be sent to your house it can be sent with your deliveries like when you order online this magazine will keep you up to date on the sneaker royale the sneaker royale will be a limited amount of trainers that will be sold each week to selected customers now of course you would have to either be on the sneakers app on time <laughs> on time even though the sneakers app be playing but on time we'll have to be on that sneakers app and ready to purchase 8 a.m on the dot next signature time 8 a.m on the dot you need to be there ready to buy it each week it'll be a different trainer that resembles a new character that will be available also in store in fortnite your weapons your goods your supplies are split into five categories that is legendary epic rare uncommon and common in the magazine this is all explained as to which trainer is tied to each category for fortnite like gamers and players you will understand that if it's legendary yo you better cop because it ain't coming around again if it's common then it may be around again it may be restocked in the future you never know but something like legendary will only be found in this four week period and it will only be sold once now idea two i've already mentioned it on the sneakers app you will be getting updates as to when the sneakers are going to drop what time they're going to drop and what sneaker is dropping each week it will just be I just made a simple mock-up of what I think it would be. Of course, if you already buy trainers like that, you already know about the Sneakers app. But the Sneakers app is an app that was created by Nike. It's only one year old. It hasn't been around for long. But it allows you to get access to limited edition trainers or really, you know, rare trainers that are not going to be around anymore. The Sneakers app is just to keep you updated and let you know when the trainer is going to drop, what time it's going to drop and what you know category is it gonna drop in you don't even know that my third idea is a person it would be displayed on instagram in store maybe on a billboard it's square but you know we can adapt the you know the size can change but because of what the map actually is in fortnite i didn't want to change that this map is supposed to look like a fortnite map but it's a map of London. It's just got pinpoints on your nearest Nike store. So when the trainers do drop, if they are dropping in store or the raffle is available for you to sign up for and go to store with, you know the nearest, the nearest, nearest, nearest shop to your house. So you know, you can just, yeah, cop. <laughs> My fourth idea was just a series of posters that can be found literally everywhere and anywhere. Central, on your phone, in store everywhere it's just something to give you a hint of what would be dropping and what might be dropping but if you get the magazine it links in with it quite well because then the magazine holds the dates and prices to those trainers dropping so it's like it's up to you to find that magazine and to get the magazine and keep yourself updated because what i find with sneakerheads what we struggle with a lot is that sometimes actually i always know when a trainer is gonna drop but not a lot of people do and it's kind of just to keep everyone kind of interested um involved is to keep you involved basically but if you get the magazine it means that you want to know more and you're interested but if you don't then you're just in for a surprise because you never know when it's going to drop just to give you a summary of what the Sneak Royale actually is, it's basically going to be a five week period where gamers have the chance to buy trainers from Nike that match back to Fortnite and Fortnite characters and skins that are going to be available. Because every week that a trainer comes out, a skin is released in the store. Do you understand what I mean? So even if you don't get the trainer, I know all, listen, my Fortnite players. I know you like skins I'm trying you see I'm win-win situation I'm trying to help you out but if you don't get the trainer because there's obviously gonna you're gonna be competing with sneakerheads as well because they love anything that Nike releases but if you don't get to cop then you can cop a skin Do you get what I mean you know win-win and if you don't get to cop that skin either maybe you didn't have the chance to the trainer will actually be available as an emote the emote will basically be your character as in your skin putting on the trainers and then doing a little 
yeah, we're doing a little, yeah. Do you get it? Like, I think it's a good idea. Like, if it actually came out, boy, I'm copying on both <laughs> in Nike and on Fortnite. I'm copying. That's it, guys. That's the idea. I just wanted to share with you, let you guys have a taste of my creative mind and what I like to do in my free time. It might be a bit sad, but <laughs> I mean, it's always good to create. If you're a content creator, don't just always stick to one thing. Just switch in between, like do some other things, learn something new. You never know what you can come up with. You never know. So, I mean, keep your head up, keep shining. And just have a look at my video. So I made an advert that is gonna be shown on TVs, YouTube, you know, anywhere where you can see a moving screen, basically, is gonna be shown there. This advert is just gonna be short and snappy and it's gonna make you wanna go online and search what the Sneaker Royale is. Of course, on the Nike website, there will be a segment on there that will explain what the Sneaker Royale is, how to get involved and so on. So I don't need to explain like everything here, but I mean, I gave you the main parts of it. So enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.